Hello YouTube, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create realistic rocks for the Blender game engine and they um, I won't be uploading the textures because I'm not exactly sure how but if you want you can download them from the Yo Frankie website it was a Blender game made by Blender people that like Blender and they're really, it's open source so you can download the source so just go download your Frankie and they got it somewhere in here uh, so you get the textures from that, they got a lot of terrain textures which are really useful and it's open source so it's good so what you want to start off with is everything deleted and just normal normal 3D mode so you want to add a cube, this is going to be from which the object from which we make our the rock so what you want to do is just subdivide it and then just go ahead and go crazy with the vertices you can do whatever you want, doesn't matter just try to make sure there's no straight lines because in nature there is no such thing as straight lines so just try to make everything a little bit messed about that should be right, now you just give it a color and give it a modifier subdivision surface and squish it down a bit damn mouse and shade it smooth ok there you go, there's one you can do this as many times as you want I'm just going to make a little rock pile and I'm going to show you some techniques that you can use you have a couple of rocks to make them look nice and realistic. Wait a second, this mouse is annoying me. I lost my mouse pad, so I have to use a book, and it sucks. Good enough. Okay, it's, it's another one. So I'll just make one more. doesn't really matter how they look, they can be absolutely crazy, but the subdivision modifier usually sorts them out. Unless you go too far like that. Okay, that's the whole pile. I'm just gonna rotate them around. I'm just going to make a mini one here. Hmm. Yeah. Video. Yep. Okay, now that that's done, you just go ahead and unwrap. Now you just want to join the whole thing together. It's a lot easier and quicker that way. And unwrap it, make it smart UV project. Give it a new image, call it AO. This will be the image illusion for it. Go to Blender Render, click on the little earth here. Give it a new inclusion, give it samples of 15. 
and anti-aliasing to 5 and bake the ambient occlusion. And when that's done, you just want to give it like an image or movie. Oh, come on. And then when that's done, there we go. I'm going to save this image. Save this image anywhere. I'll just save it on my desktop. And you want to open that image up. And make it UV. Make it emit by 0.5. And make it multiply. Now you can go ahead and add a layer. Now on top of this we're going to add the diffuse and the normal map. I don't know why but sometimes you get these texture seams. I'm not exactly sure how to fix them. But yeah, unfortunately we we'll have to stay with those. Give it um, color. Oh, that normal looks half decent. Oh, you can select color and normal. Actually, never mind. Just select color and put this down by 2 a new texture, call it diffuse and another one called normal so now you're just going to open up one of the rock textures from Neo Frankie so there we go, generic light rock Whatever. Dark rock actually. Too dark. That's better. Alright, and you wanna set it to UV. Yeah. Um seeing as I unwrapped it wrong, I'll just stick with I'll just stick with generated. Now you wanna tile it up a bit. So for example six by six. Actually, UV is not too bad. Now you want to go down to the influence and turn on color. Turn on normal. Just put it down so it's not crazy strong. And something. Maybe that should be right. This is going to be more of the detail than the actual normal map. Now you want to go up to normal. And this is where we add the actual normal map, which adds the main kind of 3D detail. So, go back to that normal map. Alright, now set it as a normal map. Put it to UV. Uh, 3x3, I'll try that. From normal, turn off color. Uh, one by one. Wait, I'll turn the turn the color off on the diffuse. Yeah, okay. And now we just muck around with the size till we find something that works. Five by five seems right. And yeah, that's about it. That's how you create realistic looking rocks in the Blender game engine. The ambient occlusion is really useful because it adds that kind of depth into it where the shadows are. And it's black there even though there's a light. It's completely black. Like that. That adds a lot of realism. And the normal map gives the fakeness of a 3D model, so it looks like this. It looks more 3D than it actually is, so that's how you make realistic rocks in the Blender game engine.